Hey everybody, welcome to this video, exporting a map in QGIS. What cooler example map could we have than a map of the Land of Oz? You've probably seen the movie, maybe read the book, but did you know that there's actually like 10 books where Dorothy and all of her friends have crazy adventures, not only in Oz, but also in all the surrounding lands? Check it out. In this video, we're not going to talk about Oz. We're going to talk about laying out maps in QGIS. I'll show you an introduction to the print layout, how to change the page size, change the scale and centering, insert arrows, scale, and text, and export as a PDF. So we've been working on this project where we've been uh, creating a map of lakes in the Middlebury area. And now we want to export this as a nice PDF map. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Project, uh, New Print Layout, and we'll call it Middlebury Lakes. This opens up a whole new window that is linked back to our QGIS project. So the first thing you might want to do is actually set the page size of your map. So if you right click in the middle of the page, that's a right click, page properties, you can set the page size to anything you want. So maybe we'll do letter sized. And you can choose landscape or portrait, of course. I usually go landscape. Okay, so when you're happy with your paper size, let's add the actual map. So I'm gonna go up top, add item, add map. And I'm going to left click and hold to actually draw out the boundaries of the map wherever I would like them. Make this bigger. And there it is. So now we've got a little window looking through to our project. Now, I always like to visualize this layout as, as if you are sitting at a drafting table and you're looking down, right? And maybe the white edge of the page is your drafting table. And you're actually going to be able to now move around elements to that drafting table. And uh, one thing to kind of keep in mind is that this set of tools here is kind of things that ways that you can interact with the drafting table itself. So if you zoom in, you're not zooming the image in and out, you're actually just zooming in and out relative to the drafting table. If you would like to zoom in and out on the image, it's actually a little bit tricky. You need to go up here to the map, and I usually do it by this adjusting this scale. So right now we've got 1 to 55,000 scale. Let's try 1 to 24,000. That should zoom us in a bit. Indeed, it does. That looks a little too far in. I'm going to go 1 to 28,000. And now, if I want to reposition or recenter, I can actually use this tool move item content right here to actually drag and it will actually recenter the uh, the map the image within the kind of layout okay so next let's add uh, a title how about so we'll go up to add items and add label again I'm gonna left click and hold draw a box as big as I want it you can't type directly in the box. You need to actually go over to this kind of items list, highlight the text, and then come down here to the properties. And this is how you interact with any item on your map. So right in this box, I can go ahead and type, uh, we'll just call it Middlebury Lakes. Obviously that's too small for a title. So if I want to change the font size, I can go here. Um, and uh, maybe I'll make it a size, oh, 36 font. Maybe we'll go with Arial. OK, so there's a pretty lame but functional title. And of course, you can, you know, you can align, do all kinds of rotations, all kinds of stuff. OK, for most maps, we may want uh, a north arrow. So again, add item, add north arrow. And left click and hold. If you draw a big box, you'll get a big arrow. And again, you can adjust some of this, the properties over here. 
Let's also go for a scale bar. So add item, add scale bar. Again, left click, hold. The bigger the box, the bigger the scale bar. That was maybe a little too big, but sometimes it's gonna snap to something functional. So I got two kilometers there. Uh, if you wanna adjust your scale bar, you can go here. You could change the units. Maybe you wanna be in meters for some reason. Um, you can change the label. And somewhere in here, you can probably also change the color, although I, I don't know. Uh, oh, here, fonts and colors. So I uh, let you screw around with that, but you can change the, the font colors and other properties of your scale bar. So there's lots of other functionality within this uh, print layout. If you really want to get into the nuts and bolts, you can go to settings, layout options, and it has lots of different uh, kind of knobs and dials you can play with. But for now, let's be happy with our simple map and we'll export it to PDF. That's just up here under layout, export as PDF. And we'll call it lake map two. A few different things you can choose. I usually stay with the defaults and enjoy your PDF map. Thanks for listening. <laughs>